Okay, welcome back everyone to The Crow Show. Apparently this week will be Music Appreciation Week. And, uh, yeah, that's what's been voted on. <clears throat> yeah, it is. So, what's... So, yeah, welcome to the show. So, what's the deal, guys? You get... You gave me... Who, um, who wants to go first? Oh. On, our, on our music? Like, you know, the way you said pick one song, it's hard to pick one song. I'm not even a huge, you know, like... Yeah, I'm I never you, memorized I'm a lot of lyrics one. and stuff. I love music just as much as anybody, I guess. But, you know, I never really memorized everybody's lyrics and stuff. I guess I'm more about right. the sound than I was always the lyrics. But some people are like, I mean, the lyrics is like a whole half of music. I feel like oh, nowadays. So, so which sound BC though? What what specific? Do you have like a specific well, thing? Well, I I like right. punk, there were no punk, lyrics to mine. I like punk reggae. Yeah, there was no lyrics to yours. I like punk, but I also have like a huge, you know, you know, rap. I guess use in general. I like I like a lot of that kind of music too. You know, I, I like I like everything. I, but nowadays it seems like everything's just digitalized and it's always the same. It sounds good. I love yeah. the songs that I hear. But I kind of wish I could hear something that was a little bit more like jazz one time and it was popular. It's not always. It just seems like it's always the same. Yeah. Yeah, it seems that way though. And, and I think there was um, there was a video I saw in the past about uh, when. Music gets digitalized. It um, it doesn't have the crisp sounds that it used to have when it was actually played uh, live. You know, if it's yeah, uh, the digital versus live. There's I think because they, they say the same thing about vinyl. Vinyl. Yeah, like buying a buying music on vinyl is supposed to have like a that crisper sound like it used to have that you don't get with digital. Yeah, because I think what I think ends- Mark Marin put it best. Uh, he said you can really hear the pain. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. It's uh, I kind of I kind of believe that too because there there's sometimes I go back listen to some old '70s rock music, and you can tell it just just the music, the melody, the sound of the music itself just feels fresh. It just feels it's got a better feel to it in a lot of ways. Well, music in general now is just, uh, it's not even that it's all digital, it's that it's so overproduced. Yeah, like but it, it always tends get, to it, be four beats and, you know... Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's got that, that pattern. They all have that same pattern now, but you don't get, like, the screw-ups. One, you don't get any feedback. Like, all that stuff you used to get in the music we grew up with from the 70s, 80s, early 90s. Mm-hmm. Like you would get that distortion, you'd get the little hiccups here and there. Yeah, I don't know. Like is it, everything, everything Metallica before the Black Album had that. Is it going to come to a point where, you know how it, it seems like every time the younger generation starts to make music, the older generation always says it's worse all the time? Is it? Well, it's not even that. I, I still like a lot of new music. <laughs> I'm saying, well, like I like I like some new music myself, but. I could still argue for the fact that the older music does sound better, but and... none, that's because none of that, none of the music, new music has that raw feeling to it. Maybe that was, um, yeah, but like you it know, doesn't feel as natural. Mm-hmm. I have such an appreciation for classical music, though. I think classical music was when we had like skill. I mean, that stuff is just. Oh yeah, one dude would write all of that. <laughs> yeah, the composition to it was. Still do that. Well, yeah, the composition was pretty insane. I mean, I think the only thing close to that is something like, uh, what is it, Dead Mouse or, you know, uh, people that try to copy some of his stuff where he tries to come up with different styles of... Um... I honestly don't think I've ever listened to anything by Dead Mouse. It just, I, he has an interesting like never, way of, once. <laughs> of trying to change things. But I think the way he's trying to do it is somewhat symphonic in a sense. Where he's, you know, trying to make something different and interesting, where it's not the same garbledy gook that. <laughs> yeah, I, I I appreciate that. Well, that's what I always did with my, you know, my garage band that I have on YouTube. Yeah, you know, I, I really like that kind I really, of stuff. I really only put it on YouTube because I didn't really have any other place to save it, and I was like, but you know, I, it was fun. I didn't try to write songs for more than four hours. 
but it's fun to just make a little beat for four hours, you know, and then you can listen to it over and over again. Mm -hmm. I actually listened to a few of those. They were pretty good. Yeah, you've got yeah. some. Uh, you got. They'd be a lot there. better if I spent more time on it. That's the main thing, you know. They're great precursor stuff, but you should make us an original theme song. Yeah, I, well, we did. I did make that one that one time. A BC original. You never finished it. <laughs> we were, t and then uh, you kind of disappeared for a while. About the girls. I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. No, um, we don't talk about that. But anyways, um, yeah, I listen to your guys' stuff. You know, the Sublime I like. I listened to that when I was younger, and and for me that was a hard. This is a kind of a hard one too, because uh, when I was younger, I would listen to probably one song like a lot, and then I would change, you know, to another song years later, and then start liking that song. But I can't really. It's it's so hard for me to pin down one song I like the best. But uh, one of them that I've liked for a long time was Interstate Love Song from STP. I just, it's it's got this melody to I mean, it that it's just. It, it was not it? What? So it's kind of a classic at this point too, isn't it? Actually, it's it's um they consider or, no, it. No, that old. was newer, wasn't it? No, it's weird, but like you could listen to a classic rock station and it's on classic rock although it's yeah alternative that's what i mean like i hear it all the time now yeah it's alternative well, oh, music though so so that always was something to me too like i said to somebody once like does classic rock change or is that genre like oh, no, it changes in, set in stone um because i've 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 always got annoyed about all these genres that came out of nowhere people like don't even get I me mean, started with genres <laughs> i i mean like you know you, you just get so technical and all this people are like no well that's not classic rock or something like that i'm thinking like well i'm sure we like, can all agree right, limp well, biscuit is that's, a classic rock that's no. rock and roll you know like well what is limp biscuit we don't know he's an anomaly metalcore uh Metal. No, rap core. <laughs> no, he's I just he's, I just don't I don't like labeling I don't music know. into a genre. I mean some some of it you can, but well, a lot of it you can't. You're preaching to the choir, man. I'm a metal fan and do you have any idea how many stupid subgenres of metal there are now? Yeah. Like I'll tell someone I like metal and they'll be like, Oh, what kind? <laughs> Fuck you what kind. I mean, does it have double bass drums and screaming? Do you like yeah. frozen I'm metal? Down. Hot metal. Yeah, it's like, oh, do you do you like Liquid hardcore? Metal? Do you like speed metal? Do you like thrash metal? Do you like death metal? Fucking black metal? Enjoy it all. That's why I subcategorized it to just metal. Like, yeah, I just I just say metal because it's like I like some of it. I don't like others. It's like the music kingdom with you know its genus code of metal and has now, it gone. <laughs> Has it gone I on will, that long? I, that... I will separate metal and black metal because black metal has like full symphony orchestras going along with a lot of their stuff. Whereas just I, metal this, is shouldn't that this be is all metal though? Yeah, I know. I mean, like I black metal's know. like uh, I can give two examples. You've you've never heard of them, I'm sure. Either Cradle of Filth or Dimmu Borgir. Well, I've heard of Cradle of Filth. Yeah, Cradle of Filth is black metal. But they're like they're considered mainstream black metal because they got huge. Okay. Yeah. But, again, but, like. But has it uh, gone you know, on so far that it, it, there's so much of it I, now? I, it needs, just now it many. needs to be yeah. subcategorized. That it's just too I don't, much. I really don't think a lot of it needed to be. I think they just came up with different names for things. Well, Is it's it like just, the same. It's like the same thing with everything. You know, all the different sexes. Oh, I'm gonna get <laughs> burned on that one. But you know, what I mean, it's like everybody wants their everybody wants their individuality. You know, and music's no different. Everybody can't accept that music yeah, can't have its own individuality. Zay or Shay are gonna come after you. I think it's okay to even, to find uh, some way to be individual, but different pronouns. Uh, sometimes I think your sex doesn't really it doesn't matter <laughs> when no. it's That's not individual. I don't even want to talk that. We can talk that next week if you want, while we freestyle. 
Not really. I prefer to skip that. <laughs> <laughs> May I have a hall pass? <laughs> right. <laughs> that is just yeah. That I don't even really know what was Sublime. Like they were somewhere between rock and reggae. Punk ska, I punk, guess. Punk ska. I but see. Not, I don't consider the, them ska because. But not all their music really... was. Yeah. Well, some of their songs. That's the same thing with Slightly Stupid. Dude, at one point in time, the guitarist and the bass player would switch, you know, their instruments, and the music was, like, way different. <laughs> it was like, Yo. Is that the same? You know, is that in a category of alternative, like uh, Alice in Chains and STP? I, and... I think I always found them under punk reggae is what yeah, they Yeah, I, I always thought. I always thought of Sublime as being more of a punk band. Yeah, yeah okay. Sublime. Well, early Sublime is like it all is punk band. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's... I mean, like early No Doubt was actually punk too. <laughs> oh yeah, No Doubt, No Doubt. But that kind of No Doubt. No Doubt did a cover for Sublime. Alternative. They they turned into alternative, but their very first album, uh, the self titled one, was actually it was punk as fuck. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, did you hear there's was, uh, I thought that was a newer last band album, doing the Cranberries song of that Zombies? One. I don't think so. You didn't what? hear that? that? Was like, no, that was like the one that made him famous. All the other ones before that, but that was the one that got him so famous, but he already died and they never like released it. I'm pretty sure the, un- Ooh, like, the one the one that's like has just a detox on it was the last one. That was the thing. Like That was the album that made him famous. And he already died before they released it. So it was like he never really got to know how famous he got because all the other songs weren't really that popular. I'm pretty sure. I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. For Sublime. See, it's, uh, I, I think it's funny that both of you guys submitted songs where the uh, the lead singers overdosed. Well, killed, died. <laughs> overdosed. One killed himself. Well, for whatever reason, it seems like music and and heavy drugs are like linked. Oh yeah, cuz I get I think millions of dollars, what are you going to do? I think I, I think got tons rates... of money and all this free time? Yeah. No, I th- I think the thing <laughs> is these um I think people like this, these musicians um like what you're saying, money and free time, but I I think they're really they're really amazing for their own personal talent and yeah. I don't know. I think everything just comes to them and it just sort of turns into the sky's the limit and to figure out where where the fine line is. I think sometimes the people that have too much artistic talent, they they try too many different things and they don't really know where, you know, how to rein in themselves. Well, and... I could just say knowing myself, if I were talented enough where I could just get paid for you know, singing or something like that, I would never be sober. Like a mil- million dollars you're, and then you're going to keep paying me to just do this one thing? Yeah, but oh. it's to write cool. new music. I'll be like... fucked up till you need me. <laughs> well, I mean, Andy Vetter is half the time anyways. Going on stage, he's been drinking beforehand. He's drinking oh, yeah, during the songs yeah. and... But, you know... You know, it seems like everybody used to get fucked up, though, before. Marilyn Manson's pants fell down. (laughs) Well, he was on stage. Music or not, it seemed like, you know, like, look at John Daly. He used to drink before. He had to come out and help pull him up. (laughs) You can't drink while playing golf, you know. But before you could, you know, John Daly would do it. Do you think it gets to a point that they've enjoyed (laughs) what they've done so long, that um, they've done so well, they just kind of want to stop, but they can't stop? There's no way to stop. People demand you keep coming back, and you know that it's, uh, people have this personal demand for you to come back or to see you or this or that. It's like, you know, I did everything I wanted to. I'm I'm done. I need to take a break. Do you think that's stressful to them in that sense? Well, that look at Tupac, man. He faked his own death just to get away from it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Tupac was going to come back after seven years, but then when he lived in Cuba for long enough, he was like, wait, why would I come back? Like, fuck that. Right. Live, I'm living it up here. Like I'm not doing that for what? For a bunch of fans that like don't give a shit anyway. So you're saying, get, are you saying maybe, Tupac lives in Cuba now? Yes, yeah, I thought it's like proven. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't follow cool. him. 
he's pretty much dead to me. So whether he's alive or dead, he's I don't know. Well, he's nah, been legally dead for what two decades? Yeah, now nah, he he's been living in Cuba for two decades. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, fucking fifty-year-old Tupac's down in Cuba. Yeah, yeah. Yo, look, look it up. Like, it, there's so much compelling evidence, especially now that the embargo is lifted and people can go to Cuba more and all this. Like, He's like fuck, man, I gotta. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go much, further south now. That is they all know. They all know he's down there. No, I don't even think he cares anymore. I think now it's like people don't expect him to come out with new songs anymore. They, like that that's done like if he would have came back in seven years they would have been like yo Tupac's alive what does he have to say and they'd be like on him and I think he just felt like you know I'm not doing that like what do I have to say yo fake your death and go live in Cuba that's what I have to say like, mm-hmm. what if he what, what if he was in Cuba and he's just been like a coma this whole time and when he comes back he's still talking like it's the 90s <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hammer time <laughs> You know, I yeah, actually t- liked Hammer, MC Hammer, when I was younger. Why not? If time if time machines were real, like yeah, music celebrities would definitely be the ones who are like using that. Uh, what is it where you step on a mosquito or butterfly? Yeah, the butterfly right. effect. Our president's Donald Trump. I know the real estate guy. <laughs> the real oh. estate guy. You're fired. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Shit, man, that was before that. That was way after Tupac died. I think that's the real yeah. reason Trump wanted to be in office, so he could just say, you're fired, to anybody he wanted to. Yeah. To the launch of the nukes button. Catch me <laughs> on my Twitter. You're fired! <laughs> hey, nukes, you're fired. <laughs> He's going to tweet to North Korea as he launches the nukes that they're fired. <laughs> <You're> fired. <laughs> that would be devastating, scary, and comical at the same time. Hey, North Korea, check your back door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He's, like, still tweeting to him. No, but what did you guys... Um, well, I mean, as far as going to, to Zodiac's song, I, 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 did, I did like the jazz uh, piece. It was pretty good. Yeah, it I, starts I off a little bit... Like it's it's bouncing around and then it kind of smooths out and gets a tone and at the end it comes back again at the end I'm like wait there's two minutes left and then oh I have more <laughs> it was like that was pretty good it was uh, I don't know it's it's got so an I, energy I looked to it, it up because uh, I looked it up a while ago because it was on uh, the show Preacher mm-hmm. which is what made me decide to listen to the whole song. Because they really just played like the calamity part from the beginning, and uh, supposedly it's supposed to be the whole creation to the end of the earth. That's why it starts off with the calamity, and it turns into, you know, it starts getting a beat, and it kind of works into it, and then it turns into like something really nice, and then it kind of fades back into that sadness at the end. Mm-hmm. And supposedly, like, from the show Preacher, that's God's favorite song. So. <laughs> I w- if I were God, I would like Hallelujah. That song moves me. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Did you guys listen to... Uh, you've heard the song that I just talked about, right? Rest in peace. Yes. Mm, for the sake, I was saying, I, for I the think sake of fun. time. One at a time? What? <laughs> One at a time? I didn't hear anything you guys said. Let's just let's just listen to what Zodiac has to say. I have nothing important to say about this. No, no, I just said, uh, I think it's funny. It was another dead lead singer. Well, yeah, but about the music, not about the dead lead singer. Well, I know. Well, Interstate Love Song, like I said, it's... That's you, think that, you think that's funny, Zodiac? <laughs> I yeah, think it's Zodiac. funny that you both chose bands with dead lead singers. You yes. think that's funny? I I would say your uh, lead composer might be dead. Well, yeah, the song came out <laughs> in like the 30s. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really the 
parodies, I don't think, but pretty fucking long ago. So we picked all songs that came from dead people. Now, dead people. Well, yeah. Okay. You so, know, I re- every time I go to the diner and they have those jukeboxes, I always pick the Eagles Hotel California. Hmm. That was a good one. It's That's not bad. It, it, to me, it feels too high school <laughs> What? It reminds me of high school too much. I'm too high schooly. <laughs> I like it. Too high schooly. Yeah, I'll go with that. Uh, so why did you pick Interstate Love Song? Um. Well, basically, just growing up, I listened to, I listened to a lot of alternative, more than I listened to rock and other things but um stp i listen to a lot of pearl jam too but stp just has this this feel to their music um uh the drums in most of the music is is really good and um just the melody of the song the fact that there doesn't seem to be any point to the song there's no you know, some of the some of the songs actually say there's no rhyme or reason to this song. I can't remember which song says that, but uh, there is an STP song that does say it. And I think just oh, this is a song about a breakup. I'm pretty sure because I have I've had to look up the lyrics because I mean it's you know it's I mean um, it could be I mean it could be interpreted that way. But it's it's really it's hard, hard to, to understand tell. those old alternative guys, you know, like Eddie Vedder, or fucking Scott Weiland, and especially Kurt like Cobain. Nirvana. Kurt Cobain is so they random. All, they all mumbled there. into the mics. <laughs> oh, Kurt Cobain, yeah, like a lot of Nirvana songs just make no sense if you read the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, especially the uh, the rape me song. But he was also borderline schizophrenic and unmedicated, <laughs> doing a shitload so, of drugs. <laughs> but like. Uh, Pearl Jam does have some message to some of their songs because I listened to them a lot and they had a they did have some good messages. Basically, Eddie Vedder was it was sort of because um, Eddie Vedder didn't know his father, but his father was in his life sometimes and it would visit him sometimes. But his father really wasn't a part of his life. And so it seems like a lot of message comes from his sadness over that. Um, I think. I don't think Jeremy is. No, Jeremy's not one of them, but there is another song where he talks about. No, he Jeremy's was, about the kid being bullied at school. Yeah, but there is another song that talks about um, when he was 13, and I can't remember right now. <laughs> I used to listen to it a lot, and I just can't remember names of it anymore. I know what song you're talking about, but again, I don't know the name either. Yeah, I, I think they had some messages to it, but I think Alternative wanted to kind of have its own style. That was still rock, but it wasn't, you know, full What was it rock. they called it? Oh, it was grunge. Grunge is what they called it. Yeah, they called it Pearl grunge, Jam. but a lot of STP. people label it alternative. Yeah, STP you know. is definitely alternative now. Well, they moved with their musical style. STP kind of started off as, as almost hardcore rock, especially with the core CD. And then as they went along, you know, into... Uh, uh, what was the CD called? Um, I can't remember, but some of their later ones started getting a little bit easier. And plus, like Velvet uh, Revolver, uh, when they mixed yeah, with Slash. Yeah, Velvet Revolver was really good. Well, they, they had Slash as the uh, the guitarist, I think. Yep, Slash from... was lead guitarist. Uh, what, Scott <clears throat> Weiland was singing for him. Yeah, Scott Weiland was a lot older. I, I think his life changed a lot when he joined the Velvet Revolver. I think maybe the fact is he just wanted to keep STP the way it was. I don't know. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't help keep him sober, though, because even Slash is sober now. Mm, maybe what happened to Scott Weiland made him wise. You know, I mean, I, I've, I've been watching some of the videos again. and some No, of Slash has been sober since uh, Guns N' Roses ended. Oh, okay. Well, I guess not then. But um, yeah, Scott Weiland going like it, it was so. It I was 
kind of heartbroken and I was actually kind of upset with myself because uh, I had an opportunity to go see him in Chicago and I, I was kind of going back and forth between it and just wondering, do I have the finances for it? Do I not? I was kind of on the verge of possibly having the finances for it to actually go see, you know, Scott Weiland do some, you know, play some STP and stuff yep. in Chicago. And I was like, I don't know if I have the finances for it. And it was like the next year he passed away. And I was like, oh, fuck. I never got to. I know. Some of that stuff you really just, like, you start realizing at our age, you just have to jump on it. Like, if you can afford to buy that concert ticket, you need to do it. Yeah. Because uh... do you know how many times I wanted to go see Guar since I was a teenager? Now I always just said, oh, next time, on oh, next time. I'd miss it. You know, like, I'd find out two days before the show that they were playing, and I never went to go see them. And that the leads now the lead singer's dead. So now I've seen Guar, like last you know this past October, but I didn't get to see Guar with the real lead singer. Hmm. And they just had a more like they had that same like we were saying earlier that raw feel like they were they had more of a raw punk feel to them with the other guy. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about all the different bands that they trade up their people in it like uh grateful dead i don't know if you can name some others <laughs> i think the no, fact I can is say, i can say right now right now guar does not have an original <clears throat> member left oh yeah. i think the fact nobody is nobody in guar is from the original lineup i think the singer right, is is what kind of carries the band in a lot of ways lead guitarist can the drummer right. can but usually it's like could you singer. see lincoln park going on anymore uh, Lincoln. Who? I could see. The, I could see. Yeah, Lincoln Park. <laughs> who? I went to a concert. I saw you them live. Lincoln I saw. Park. I saw them. Play, <laughs> I saw them play with uh, Jay Z. Oh my god, that would have been amazing. Yeah, it was creepy. That was my I, favorite I swear, album. Yo, that, that I swear. one they did with him. Jay Z. Jay Z's there, right? And he's singing, and like. You know, I'm this white guy in this crowd. I'm looking around. I was like, all right. You know, lots of people here. You know, it's not like everybody's any certain thing. But, you know, I'm like a preppy guy. You, you, I don't. Yeah. I, I belong in like the the punk era. All right. And then I swear to you, Linkin Park comes on. All right. They pop out. And I kid you not, I start looking around and everybody's Asian. Everywhere I look, <laughs> I'm like, what? What? What just happened? I swear to you, I swear there's like they were. I didn't see him the were you first in Chinatown? time. Chinatown, you didn't know it. I didn't see him the first time, and then the, did you see this show in somewhere in Asia? Did you go? No, no over I was in to Philly. China. It was Live Eight. I don't know if you ever heard of Live Eight or not. Yeah, but it was I've like, heard of it. It was pretty cool. I think I've seen some shows that were recorded there, like videos of them. But yeah, yeah Lincoln Park was one of those bands. Like I'm saying, I never got to see them. Always wanted to, and uh, I was actually gonna try and bring my kid the next time they tour. <clears throat> but that's not gonna happen now. Yeah. Cause Lincoln Park's one of his favorite bands. Yeah, it, it's it's almost a lot of people's favorite bands. I know a lot of people that like yeah. Lincoln Park, and I I listen to their stuff too. You know, during the younger Lincoln Park was good. I mean, they were they were that beginning idea of how all the music is now i would say like if there was any newer songs from lincoln park i'm not really partial to but um it was it was just like you could put that in there and go through the entire cd and not have to skip a bunch of times and that's like the best feeling in the world okay okay what's the most complicated song that you like that you know that you could sing along to and almost not miss a lyric Rap God. Okay. Yeah, see, I think Zodiac be the best at that. Um, just I because I've listened to it and I've sang along to it so many times in the car, I couldn't do it unless I'm listening to the song. Though. All right. Yeah, that's cool. Like I couldn't, I couldn't just freestyle I mean, it and keep the like, beat. It wouldn't happen. Does the wheels on the bus go round and round count? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I guess yeah, again, Brad, yeah. Brad's got a toddler, so he's like, uh, the Teletubbies theme. Yo, <laughs> you know what bothers me, though? I don't know if it's that big of a deal, but I hate when I'm listening to something on, like, YouTube or something, and they, like, altered the song ever so slightly. 
Mm. And it's just like, that's not how the song originally yeah, went. Yeah, but they're trying to do it so they avoid copyright strikes. Exactly. Stuff like that. If they that. change it a little bit. For so. the hokey pokey? <laughs> yeah, Who's got no, copyrights to the hokey pokey? No, that's under, uh, that's a, one of those. Ah, uh, what is it? I forget what they're called. Classic folk tunes? Creative Commons? <laughs> Essentially. I don't know. Uh, do you guys want to know? Fair use. What mine is? Do, we, do I want to know what? Uh, have you guys heard the uh, the song from STP, Trippin' on a Hole in a Paper Heart? What about no. it? I guess you've never heard it. <laughs> Go listen I'm, later I, to, to I've STP's probably heard it. song, Trippin' on a Hole in a Paper yeah. Heart. I can actually sing that. And I know the lyrics to it. 30 minute warning. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted to just outright say it. Well, I meant a little more subtle. <laughs> <laughs> you said I was too subtle. <laughs> Are you done? Did you get all your feels out? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Brad. Did you listen to that whole song I sent? No. Uh, the what song that was like really years. quiet and I couldn't hear it and there was no lyrics yeah. and it sounded like I should have been drinking a bottle of wine with it or something <laughs> <laughs> uh, no yeah it wasn't too bad but I didn't I couldn't hear it very loud at all so and I had my headset on and everything I don't, I'm not sure what was going on with that so ah, okay see I thought you might like that one because last week you were talking about how people take calamity and noise and you know all that shit and we make something beautiful out of it um oh God, this... i don't like this one <laughs> mm-hmm. but fine yeah well no i got nothing else i could keep talking music all night though well then let's do that <laughs> if you want to <laughs> But, uh, or just for 30 more minutes anyway. Right. 29. You want me to keep ranting about how I hate metal genres? <laughs> yes, please do. You're trying like, to I don't know out. why they need to say speed metal. All of it's fast. <laughs> um, so, well, the original reason we had this topic was because of backmasking. I was I wanted to categorize, and we just openly talked about it. So, did any of you? you uh, did any of you? Yes, I have. There's a hilarious. If you look at the back ma- back masking of SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, there's a certain video that'll kind of slow it down too to help you hear it. It is terrifying and hilarious at the same time. Did you say SpongeBob SquarePants? <laughs> yes, SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> So you play that backwards, and it's horrifying. No, there's videos where they've already done it for you. Well, that's what, I, know. Oh, I I didn't hear SpongeBob back masks. I haven't heard that either. You got. I, w- I listened to the Teen Tight. I listened to the Teen Titans one. I totally forgot to. <laughs> um, but you know, people like um Led Zeppelin, they denied that that backwards. They said that's just complete coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I mean, I doubt they wrote a whole song around that, especially Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I don't think it's coincidence. It's too clear. I, I've heard you, the whole thing you, backwards, and it's very clear. That was sarcastic, right? No, you? that wasn't sarcastic. I don't. I really don't think that they would. Like, there's some the shit about Satan and stuff in theirs, right? Dude, you, some of it is like. It. Have you not heard it? Like he hasn't heard it, then he wouldn't know. No, I haven't. Dude, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some you of it heard is it. as clear as day it is and there's I multiple mean, instances as, and and the fact is when you start thinking about the other way this is written the original you know the way that you normally hear it you start wondering about it the stairway to heaven idea it's just it just really really opens your mind on, like you know do people like trade their souls and stuff to make popular music well there's plenty and, of people like, like uh, i may have to look into that bob dylan Said he sold a soul. Other people said that too. Plenty that was people. another thing that was really big with jazz and blues. 
You know, and even in the, super, the show Supernatural, the <laughs> guy sells his soul to the devil to become where, popular. <laughs> yeah, and he was a blues man. No, I think people actually possibly do this. Because That's where the whole idea of the crossroads came from. It, maybe people really do do actually do this and they become popular because of it. I, I think there could be some pause for thought there. Um, you know, I was talking well, with here, PC here before you go, about, Frank, uh, you live, uh, you live in Wisconsin. There's tons of rural shit out there. Go find a dirt crossroads and bury a box. Oh, hell no. No, <laughs> no. I'll, you know, I'll tell you, I was, um, just give it a shot. Just watch one episode of supernatural. You'll know how to make the box. No, like I've been looking into a lot of these things and um, there's people that really believe that um, some spirits you can bind and trap and some you can actually create like elementals. And um, like I'm planning on going on a trip to Ireland pretty soon and my friend wants to go see this one castle and I keep asking, why do you want to see this castle? He's like, well, it's one of those old haunted castles. You know, it's like a really interesting thing to go to. I'm like looking at the pictures. I'm like, you can't even walk up the fucking stairs. Why would you want to go see this castle? And then I look up the history on it, and it's haunted not by a spirit, by it, but by an elemental. At least that's what they're saying. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't know about that. Those, I mean, if if there are spirits and things like that, and someone wants to believe in it, I think elementals are created to be destructive forces. I just, like, personally, I think, because, like, BC was uh, talking to me about uh, some of the backward stuff, and I was mentioning uh, Yahweh being in uh, Highway to Hell backwards, and I listened to it, and I was like, "Holy crap, it's actually in there!" They didn't actually write down all the word, all the lyrics correctly, from what you could hear, but I could hear Yahweh in Highway well, to Hell backwards. Right, so and so, and well, yeah, Highway Queen, backwards is Yahweh. Queen has a song. Where if you listen to it backwards, it says "smoke marijuana, smoke marijuana," and it just keeps going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was like, I, "Holy shit! I can actually hear this whole thing. It sounds so realistic. It's it's not like you listen to this stuff and you'll just your jaw will drop." And then like later on, all the recommended things were all about Michael Jackson backwards and like portraying his life and his abuse. See, I'm so jaded now though. Like I'd need to actually get the song and play it backwards like i don't trust anything on the internet i bet you can i bet you can just download yeah. it get a program to play it backwards there's so many of them that you can download anyways and you probably will well, be able to yeah hear the it. Uh, audacity that i use to record the show yeah I definitely play shit backwards yeah there. that would be that would be awesome if you could do that and uh you know even send us. I'm gonna play one of our episodes backwards. <laughs> we'll, see. Cool. We'll, we'll see if we'll our episode trigger. has anything in it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be next week's episode. I'm just gonna play this week's episode backwards. <laughs> yeah, so, be freaking awesome. <laughs> it's like, remember Rocco's Modern Life when they show a jar of mayonnaise? <laughs> no. Oh, oh. Man. What was it? They, they were trying to get the show canceled. Somehow Rocco got on a TV show and he was trying to get the show canceled. So he's like, we'll just show a jar of mayonnaise for the whole show. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was like, jar of mayonnaise <laughs> episode, top ratings. Well, wait, what? Chris Rock. <laughs> I used to love that No, show. no, Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life? I never. Oh, you never watched that when he was a wallaby. Yeah, I. you know, the thing is, I don't think uh, Midwesterners got as many shows as you East Coasters do. Turn, turn the page, you'll, you'll wash your hands. It's nationwide. Yeah, but cable companies uh, promote certain things and they don't take on other things. Um, I remember from being a child that they advertised everything in Eastern and Central Time. Plus, I also don't watch Nickelodeon, so... That could be the reason also. Yeah, that, that could be the main reason before you just <laughs> accuse Westerners of not yeah. having the same education of television. No, seriously, there are there are things that you guys would talk about in the past, and I've talked to other East Coasters, and they're like talking about all these things. I'm like, what? You never heard about that? It was on TV. <laughs> no, I never heard about that. Well, there is always regional stuff too, yeah. I just... No, well, like this is a major network, like on Nickelodeon. Like, well, I don't know. It was like Ren and Stimpy style, but a little tamer. 
Hmm. Yeah, the ba- the back masking is insane though. Once you start hearing some of this stuff, you start thinking that maybe there is an extra message you're hearing. You're supposed to hear both messages, basically. Well, so I asked my uh, friend in Spanish who speaks a lot of Spanish, listen to Spanish music, and I said, is there popularity in backmasking in Spanish music? And there is. So I can't decide if, if this is like an intentional thing or this is actually just some eerie thing that happens with everything being said backwards. I mean, it, it could be. Like... It could be, since um, there was some kind of uh, recording, or there was some kind of magazine that, that was talking about uh, Stairway to Heaven that's actually good to listen to it backwards, too. Or it's just as good for it as it is backwards. There was some kind of advertising for that song long ago on some kind of magazine. So maybe they had uh, an agenda, a hidden message agenda they wanted to get out. Because, I mean, I know, BC, you were saying, like, what if the reverse is supposed to be the good thing or or the bad thing? Or, like, the well, first message so, is the good thing and um, the second message is the bad thing. So, but to I, me, that's confusing. Iron, wasn't, it wasn't Iron Man, but who sang Iron Man? Black Sabbath. Uh, Black Sabbath. So one of Black, one of Black Sabbath. Oh, no, it was, it was Ozzy. But wait, there's the same thing, right? Uh, yeah. Black, so yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ozzy is singer. singer Ozzy is singer, 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 singer for Black Sabbath. And then right. he left and went solo. So then I, Dio I don't, I don't remember if it was that one, but one of the backmasking says like one of Black Sabbath's songs was like, "I want to be like Jesus." Over and over, it says it backwards. Really? So that, and that blew my mind because I'm like, Black Sabbath would put a, a black backmasking that says, "I want to be like Jesus." I got it. I was like, "There's just one. no way." I got it. I was this like. One. Just, that's what I'm saying. So for me to start to wonder if, like, you know, see, I think a lot of it's got to be wrong, or just you're, that's what you're hearing because that's what somebody said. Well, if you just did it, you without, know, because there's you, they would have to write the song both ways at the same time. They would have to know what words to use so it would come out backwards when you play it backwards. Yeah, but you can also dub in in betweeners. That as long as it's the same tone, it, it you know, little like oh, not on is, vinyl, which is when half the shit was done. Like that's how people started doing the back mask. It was which is why backwards. we think that he sold his soul to the devil. I think when you listen to some of these songs, like um, I think Stairway to Heaven or some uh, Led Zeppelin songs, actually, when you're listening to it, there's like a little pause sometimes. While they're singing in Dude, the middle of it, I'm saying, and it's I'm weird saying to that hear something this... like, you know, like a very slight tick sound, like it was stopped for some reason, and the word was compressed, and it makes me wonder why I would hear something like that. I should just hear, you know. Uh, I'm perfect. saying that when I listen to Stairway to Heaven backwards, the song's almost better. <laughs> like it's so good. It's just like. I know that it's like you can look at it like, oh, it sounds like evil, but like it almost to me sounds like a guy who, you know, just he's sad. Like well, what, he's, he did, he's sad what he did, what he did, trading. Yeah, he, yeah, he, but <laughs> but why? <laughs> he's he's really sad for Satan. It's it's a really sad story, and everybody cried. So yeah, I I don't really care. It's not like I'm not gonna go. Know. I'm not gonna go like. Oh, poor Satan. The, song, uh, the song's been in my head nonstop for the last two months now. No, I'm just kidding. It's like the number 23. <laughs> yeah, that was see the number 23? It's everywhere. That's a strange thing you told me because when I told you about um, or when we were talking beforehand, you're like, yeah, Yahweh's in the highway to hell. And I'm like, no way. Well, so of I course it is. I go and look at it and it, it sounds like Yahweh, but the way this one person wrote it down he had an extra word in there which i didn't hear that extra word at all i just heard is it basically is yahweh just highway yeah it's gonna say lay out yahweh because fucking highway backwards you could pronounce yahweh yeah so that's why you're getting that (laughs) yeah well (laughs) it is but but he actually says other things like he says full sentences like oh i'm rich and and, you're and that's the thing. And that's the thing. It's like not, that. If it, if it was one thing that he said, 
I'd almost be like, okay, you know, what a coincidence. If it was gram- random. But the entire song, he's like, I'm better than you. I'm rich. I don't have to do what you say. Like, it's over and over repetitive things that he says that's like basically saying, like, you know, I can do whatever I want. Well, have you sounded out the, the forwards lyrics backwards to see if it's just coincidence, like Yahweh? I mean, ACDC has a very simple structure to their songs. It is the same thing over and over again. So, of course, that's what's going to be backwards. Well, yeah, but <laughs> they I'm had a very that, simple format. I'm saying that in the few different lines, it'd be it'd be one thing if like he was like, like I spring my chicken in summertime, and it was like, <laughs> and, then, and then the next time he's like, you know, I play with cows in this in the you know like if yeah, if, I see what you're saying, BC. If it was completely different things, I'd understand. But the entire <laughs> song stays a theme, and it's about like him being like i'm better than you <laughs> like it's weird <laughs> the and it's, it's same thing well, that's with, what you i'm know, saying a lot uh, of their lyrics are the same lyrics over and over again <laughs> no but he, he well, says, yeah he's they don't a say sentence. a lot in their song he's making i'm saying sentence, i'm like saying like that he's, he's the different lyrics the, the different lyrics are are still you know on the same topic yeah and that to me is what makes it so eerie and like uh, I get it. St- Stairway to Heaven backwards is a very, uh, it, it's it's like a gothic poetic uh, love song to Satan. I mean, I don't know how people do this. <laughs> I'm though, gonna have to look these up. The Teen Titans one, dude, I, they did it. I mean, they genuinely made a backmass song. It makes you realize why that song makes like no sense because <laughs> they did it both directions. It, I mean, they clearly like they're saying all this stuff about. Like the Teen Titans, and then they, like in the middle of it, they keep going what? Like, like, like you can't believe that they really did it. The same time they do it, they keep doing, you know. And I keep thinking like, what is what backwards? But like, twa or something like, oh, ta, ta. So I'm thinking like, what are they saying forwards? It's making me. But it's yeah. creepy. Well, the Teen like, Titans one is creepy because it's like, cool. Like, like, it, like to be on your uh, to be on your on your side zodiac. Like if you listen to SpongeBob's back or SpongeBob backwards, it's crazy. It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. There's one part where it talks about uh, destroying the heart of your mechanical mother, and it was something like that or medical mother. I don't know what the, the I don't remember the actual line, but it was hilarious. And uh, the way they start it and end it, it sounds like these evil screams and it just the way it goes it just made me laugh after it was done but it it didn't seem to like have a message like a full message it seemed to be more like rambling words like if you turn it what was this one it's the spongebob squarepants uh theme song you know and again that brings me the same thing but it's these people like to just trade their souls to the devil and and it's like it gets stained to it I mean, Teen Titans is freaking really popular, and also so is SpongeBob. Well, I mean, everybody says death runs the world, so. Well, let's get rich, guys. When do you get on this? You. <laughs> yeah, our... <laughs> if we suddenly started having millions of viewers, I was telling my wife before, I said, you know, I like to think like 20 or 30 years from now, somebody's going to come up to me and just be like, you know, you, you don't know me, but. You know your your podcast that's twenty or thirty years old at this point. They really get me through the day, man. And I'm like, and I'm like, wow, like, like, what what do you do for a living? I'm the president of the United States. And I'm like, wow, I, I made a difference, you know. Like, that's what I like. To- I, I got a feeling that the uh, Secret Service is gonna have to vet you before they come. Up. He walks up to you. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, what's your name, son? Let me buy Donald you a soda. Trump Jr. <laughs> yeah, Junior, Junior, Junior. <laughs> Let me buy you soda. Well, actually, it would be Baron Trump Jr. because he doesn't have a son named Donald, so. Baron Jr. Yeah. I don't know. He might still have one left in the cannon. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that maybe that porn star got pregnant <laughs> yeah I'm sorry Melania I'm sorry <laughs> right no you're not nah. 
Nah. My, my wife was like, well, what is the difference? I mean, how did he meet her? But like nude photography. And I was like, there's a big difference between nude photography and porn. And my right. wife just looks at me like, what? <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah, like, you're what are you talking about? about? Yeah, naked pictures. That's still porn. <laughs> like, no, it's porn. One, there's penetration. One, you're videotaping the actual sex and not when you're getting undressed. The other, you're videotaping when you get undressed and not the sex that happens right after that. We have we've gone awry here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how this has anything to do with music, but um, maybe right, we're at, we're just it? about at wrap up time anyway. We're yeah, we're a little over forty-five. I, think. I didn't really give my shout out to Slightly Stupid, who I went to a lot of their concerts. You know, I like Slightly Stupid, and they are good. I like I, them. I did listen to them. <laughs> yep, went to a lot of those concerts back in the day. But all right, yeah, yeah. I guess um, we didn't we didn't have a topic next week. We um, we just decided to go. We're gonna go you know, random, man. The crows are gonna wing it. Yeah. Hey, that's a great you topic know, we should have from now on. If anybody's still listening, throw some suggestions out there. You know, preferably before Monday. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Do do our job for us, please, please. <laughs> it's it's like, it's just like my work at work. They, they always like, do you have any suggestions? Like write them down. I'm thinking like, isn't that your job? Like, aren't you supposed know, to right? come up with ideas and do it? <laughs> what are you suggesting me to do? <laughs> I would love to do a fan service episode if we had any fans. Yeah, if we had some fans, like, <laughs> leave some comments below. We seem my to fans. have them, but most of them are Let ninjas. Let us service you. Yeah. So, the ninjutsu I just, is strong with people. I just people listen to you guys you. on my commute to work. <laughs> I'm stuck in traffic. and. Yeah, I wish. Every day you guys help me get a little closer to blowing my brains out. And I appreciate that because I really want to blow my brains out. It's <laughs> an app description. I think we should probably end here. I know, right? <laughs> Sounds like a good stop. And point. Just edit, edit that last part out. Um, yeah, it's, it's yeah, loud, I'll, I'll, I'll ask I YouTube did. verbally if they can edit out that part. There we go. Well, man, don't do that. What's your job? I'm the president of the United States. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Nice, nice call back. Yeah. All right, yeah. So uh, next week, I guess we're gonna freestyle it, um, or come up with something, or send us something. Like, like Brad said before Monday, we'll bring a we'll bring a guest. The goddamn clock is ticking. Bring yeah. a gift. We'll bring a guest, and uh, yeah, we'll be there. So. I could try and get us a guest. Tell your friends. Right. Uh, fo- follow us on the Twitters, uh, Adam the Zodiac. I constantly retweet other people and original things and the show. Yes, he is the spam artist of our Crow Clan. Uh, I, I prefer social media engineer. <laughs> okay. You, you couldn't see me roll my fingers there, but imagine I'm rolling my fingers. like There's no such thing as a social media engineer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, some, some, some guy listened to this is like, 13 people was like, oh man, that really hurt me. Like, I don't, I don't even know uh, if I want to go to work tomorrow. Like, <laughs> fuck you, infamous. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> there is, and I get paid $230,000 I'll tell you now, I've taken a marketing class. There is a social media department in just about every advertising firm now. I don't know if they're called social media engineers, but there are people that work strictly doing social media shit. I feel like that just makes mechanical engineers be like, you know, you're just giving engineers out to anybody now. You can't get that title out there. (laughs) Structural engineers are like, what the hell, man? God damn it, I just made it up like right now. It's not (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Sorry. if All i do right, one so. if i do one thing wrong tons of people are gonna die if you do one thing wrong people are just gonna cry or, or <laughs> like people, cry. people if you do cringe. something wrong people just aren't gonna retweet you yeah. no they're not gonna cry they're gonna cringe it's gonna... right so yeah um you can also find us on facebook yeah you know, search the crow show or at the real crow show mm-hmm 
Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, you can find us on my channel right now, um, YouTube. And uh, so, yeah, that's all I got. Oh, plus uh, the uh, the mines dot com. It's there as well, yes. which I have to repost sometimes. And uh, that's always enjoyable for me. So that's all I got. No, I suppose uh, I also have Six Pack Saturday back. So even if I can't live stream it, I will be posting episodes. Yep. Yeah, you can go over there. So check out Zodiac's channel too. And let's do it, I suppose. Everything's in the description below, if I didn't say so. But uh, <laughs> please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll finish with that little note. Good night. Goodbye, everybody. Jeez, you sound like my...